Hello everyone and welcome to Tech Simpler Studios. So, is Windows 7 obsolete today? Let's take a look. If you haven't already heard, on January 14th, 2020, Microsoft officially ended support for Windows 7, meaning Windows 7 users will no longer receive security and software updates or be able to receive technical support. But that doesn't necessarily mean it's obsolete. You can still use it, and to see how viable an option using Windows 7 is today, we'll test various pieces of software, as well as some popular games, to see how usable it is even over a decade after its release in 2009. So starting off with Windows 7's web browsing ability, as you can see, the latest version of Google Chrome is supported and will let you browse the web as you normally would on any newer operating system. You can go ahead and show my automotive channel some love, or just browse through sites as you normally would. It all works well. Also, Chrome will stay fully supported on Windows 7 through at least July 2021, according to Google. The latest version of Firefox also runs on Windows 7, and there's actually no planned date for its end of support yet. Firefox even supported Windows XP and Vista until 2018, which is two more years than Chrome did, meaning that secure web browsing on Windows 7 will not be a problem for many years to come. Even after Chrome and Firefox eventually drop support, there may be other web browsers that continue to support Windows 7 as well. And I just thought I'd mention... OBS, the software I'm using to record the screen right now, is also working quite well on Windows 7, despite stating it only supports Windows 8, 8.1, and 10. This is also the case with some other programs and even games where they're not listed as being compatible with Windows 7, but may still run. But not all software vendors are so willing to support such an old operating system. Take Adobe and their Creative Cloud Suite, for example. As you can see, Photoshop is running fine, but many of the other Creative Cloud apps either require Windows 10 or a recent version of Mac OS, and will simply not install on Windows 7. Microsoft's own Office 2019 suite also now requires Windows 10, but Office 2016 will prove a worthy substitute for most Windows 7 users wanting to use the Office suite. In general though, most programs and apps out there today will still work just fine on Windows 7. Before we get into its gaming ability though, if you like this video, make sure to check out some of my other obsolescence videos that I've linked in the card at the top right, where I test more operating systems such as Windows XP, Vista, and even older versions of Mac OS, in addition to older graphics cards and CPUs, to see which older pieces of technology are still usable in the modern day. So now in terms of gaming. Surprisingly, most modern games will run perfectly fine on Windows 7. As you can see, Minecraft, Rocket League, and project cars all run well, and practically all new titles still do. At the moment, the only main games we'll be missing out on are Xbox and Windows 10 exclusives that sell in the Microsoft Store, such as Forza Motorsport and Forza Horizon, as there is no Microsoft Store in Windows 7. Technically though, there are Windows 7 exclusives as well, namely the oh-so-nostalgic games that came with it, such as Chess Titans, Purple Place, Solitaire, and the legendary Minesweeper, among others, though it is possible to install these on Windows 10 through a third-party installer. As Windows 7 ages, however, I wouldn't expect most new games, or new high-performance graphics cards for that matter, to keep supporting it. In fact, the latest Intel and AMD CPUs have already dropped support. So Windows 7 certainly isn't obsolete yet. It's still capable of most modern tasks you throw at it. This is because, with so many people still using Windows 7, most program and game developers are not willing to give up on it just yet. If you love Windows 7 for its simplicity and classy looks, and feel comfortable knowing you may face a few compatibility issues down the road, you can still keep using it. You'll most likely be able to continue using Windows 7 for at least a couple of more years as long as you install an antivirus and stay safe on the internet. Nearly all programs and games still work on Windows 7, but the question is for how long this will continue to be the case. If you don't specifically need Windows 7, I would upgrade, as not only will you receive improved security, but you can be sure that you'll be able to run all new programs and games designed for Windows. Also, Windows 10 will not run slower or take more resources than Windows 7 for the most part, nor should it break compatibility with your already existing Windows 7 programs. If you all enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like it. Also, be sure to check out my automotive channel, Tech Simpler Garage, or you can just check out some of my other obsolescence videos if that's more your style. See you all in the next video!